Hey YouTube friends, today I'm going to show you a cool trick that I learned about how to make your own hay baler and it comes from cheap supplies that almost everyone has on hand. All you need is a large cardboard box and some baling twine or if you don't have baling twine from like an old hay bale of hay, you can just use string, good sturdy string. And so I'm going to show you how to build your own hay baler. So let's dig in. You know, my family kind of jokes around and say we live on Mullis Farm. A lot of people that don't know me think that we actually live on a farm. But I want to be clear, we don't live on a farm. We have a house out in the country and we do have a large yard, thankfully. Thankfully, that allows us to do a lot of gardening. But it's not a farm. We, we made the joke that we live on a farm just because we have so many animals. We have like five cats, two dogs. And when we moved out here in the country, we decided to get chickens. So that's really our farm. Um, and then of course we started doing the, the gardening stuff. But living out here in the country, we pass by big, large farms all the time, hay fields and all of that sort of stuff. And it inspires us and we love the country life that we enjoy. One of the things that we need and use a lot out here in the country, in our gardening, and with our chickens is hay bales. But we don't have tractors and all of that kind of stuff. We see people all around us baling up hay during certain times of the year. And it's a beautiful thing to see. We have to buy hay from the store in the bale, bales. And we prefer the little square bales because they're small and easier to carry. We don't have a tractor or any way to move around those big round bales. But I always thought, you know, we have enough space. We don't have a large field, but we have enough space that we can grow things like wheat and we could bale that wheat if we had a way to do it. So I've been thinking for a long time about how we could do it. And I've seen some plans online that are kind of complicated and require a lot of materials that, that might be kind of expensive. So I thought, could we just, make something very simple that helps us to bale up our wheat straw and we can. All you need is a cardboard box and some good sturdy string and I'm going to show you how to do that today. First, tie a slip knot in one end of your baling wire. Next, Cut a V-shaped notch on two opposing sides of the cardboard box, as shown in this picture. These will be to hold your baling twine. Insert the baling twine in the notches on each side of the box. Allow enough slack so that the baling wire can go down to the bottom of the box. Now it's time to fill your cardboard box with all of your hay. I am filling my cardboard box with wheat straw. You want to fill your box until it is full and you can press it down and compact the hay inside the box as much as you want. Of course, this is a cardboard box, so it's not super strong. You don't want to overdo it or you will cause your box to tear up. Once your box is full of straw, then you can take the two ends of your baling twine, insert the bare end through the slip knot, and then you're just going to press the hay down while you tighten the string around the hay. With my design, I am using just one baling twine. You could 
make a system very easily that uses two strings like a traditional square bale but uh, for what I'm doing with my purposes one string will work just fine but you make your bailing system the way you want it. Once you've got the string nice and tight you can go ahead and tie it off and now you can remove your bale hay from your cardboard box. And look at that right there we have our bale of straw or what we also could call a sheave of wheat. Isn't it pretty? I just think that's the coolest thing in the world. And it could also be very useful. In Isaiah 11, 6 through 9, it says, In that day, the wolf and the lamb will live together. The leopard will lie down with the baby goat. The calf and the yearling will be safe with the lion. And a little child will lead them all. The cow will graze near the bear. The cub and the calf will lie down together. The lion will eat hay like a cow. The baby will play safely near the hole of the cobra. Yes, a little child will put its hand in the nest of deadly snakes without harm. Nothing will hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain. For as the waters fill the sea, so the earth will be filled with people who know the Lord. In the scripture, this is a vision of what it will be like when God finally makes everything right in the world. People will follow the Lord and we will be healed. There will be no more war and no more suffering, no more sickness, no more death, no more evil that is brought about by human selfishness. I look forward to the day when we will experience this wonderful, blessed peace the Lord promises he will make right. All that has been wrong because of human sin will be cleansed and made right again, and it will be a beautiful paradise that we enjoy. This is what we look forward to in the coming day, but it is also something we can work for right now. We don't have to simply throw up our hands in the air and say, there's nothing we can do. The world is broken and it's evil. God calls his people to work for the vision. So we need to get out there and we need to grow and be fruitful as we work to fulfill the prayer that we pray in the Lord's Prayer. When we say, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So let's work for that, my friends. Let's get out there and let's grow and be fruitful.